So, dude, I, I'm nowhere. I, you know what? I am. I like I said, this is a re-entry. So, uh, I, so it's a new year, and you've got a new guitar. And, yeah, exactly. And you, you like it? Again. Yeah. God, I so she got you this as a birthday present or something, right? Anniversary. Oh, okay. I think it was our 15th. I think that's what. Month. I can't remember what month I got it. So, yeah, it was our, it was our anniversary. So, what do you remember? So, dude, like. We have the last, I don't, I can't even go to our last lesson because I think I've just lost so much. Okay. Which was, you were teaching me, it was some bar chord stuff and it was um, Sultan's a Swing. Oh, okay. And it was a, it was the random at the end of our lesson. Okay. And uh, I couldn't. Well, we probably have to back up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that, exactly. So, I'm literally. But I bet, even if you haven't played in months, you could probably still play Wild Horses. Yeah. Yeah, sick of that one? yeah, I'm sick of that one. But okay. yes, I, you know what? But we can do anything. I mean, let's start with this. Okay. Because it, it should. But let's put Hotel California up there too. Okay. Oh, and Brown Eyed Girl. Okay, that was the very first song we learned. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So whatever, what, whatever you want to look at. Or because this something. is like nice. virtually a level one song. I mean, it's like all you got to do is strum those chords yeah. and and make changes and and just keep the strumming pattern going. Let me hear. Oh, I, it was so bad. I, I'm this way, right? Yeah. That's that's where I went to. You know, now one thing. So this guitar has a wider neck yeah, it does. than you're used to. It really, it really and, does. Yeah. And when I'm talking, I'm talking about the string spacing. You know, it's like the string is wider this way as far as so. So with your left hand, you're going to feel like you have to reach a little further to get chords like this G. Okay. But also, um, they're going to their notes are going to come out a lot clearer because of having that extra space. Is that why they do that? Yeah. Is that the deal? Yeah. Because it does feel a lot different than the Takamini thing yeah. at this point. Yeah, yeah. We still would like to play. Let's hear it. Okay. Okay, I'll do one measure. Okay, just uh, let me hear the strumming pattern first. Strum, okay, here, oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah. The three basic strumming patterns that we need for almost every song. There's, and what you what we just used in that one was what I call the folk pattern. Okay. There it is, Margarita Hill, Brown Eyed Girl, you know. Okay. Um, and what what makes it distinct, or it's, it's, it's the two ups in the middle that give it its characteristic sound. Oh. That, this, this right here. Right. Okay. okay. Um, if we're playing more of a rock, a rock song that we, we want it to be a little steadier, like um, my uh, Sundown. Oh, yeah. Right? Careful, okay, wrong string with that, uh, your, third, your little finger. This one? Has to be on the third string. Yeah. For that. That's rock. Okay. Then we have the slower one that we use for stuff like um, Comfortably Numb, or which is uh, B minor. A. G. E minor. Oh, right there? Yeah. B minor. Drums, you can cover, and, and as long as you can change chords again, like we can play this, Heaven's Heaven Door. Let's try it. Three. Oh. Mama, take this down. 